Sweeties, how's everybody doing? I wanted to do a video today for you all um, with the Mally, um, no, what is it called? Thank God no, because I know mostly all Mally stuff. The Pro Tricks, the Pro Tricks Lip Palette. I got this a while ago, I've been playing around with it, um, just, you know, like having a lot of fun. And, you know, me with lip products, I love my lip products, and um, I love my Mally, so... Um, yeah, let's just get started. I don't want to make it too whatever, you know, too long. Um, so, it comes in this, she always has such pretty packaging. It comes in this cute little, um, pink, um, what do you want to call it, kind of material. I can't think of the material right now, but it's really cute. It's pink, girly, you know, and everything. And it comes in a nice golden palette, which has her name, Mally, right here at the bottom. Okay. And we open it up. And we have nine beautiful shades all here. And then we have, whoops, where's my finger going here? And then over here where my finger's at, this is your um, shaders. Like, these can change the way the coloring of your lips look, like the color that you want to make for your lips. Like this is such a versatile palette. Um, it is untrue, which what I'm going to start off with is saying how adorable it is. It's a really nice, adorable, um, you know, kind of a palette. Really nice. Uh, what really made me, well, I love Valley. So that's the main thing, one of the main things that the reason why I purchased it. But I just, um, I'll be going on vacation here in July to Atlantic City and I have found like yeah it is nice if you can take less with you and usually like me being a lip person <laughs> I can take like about five or six different lip colors and lipsticks and glosses whatever um, maybe even more sometimes and it could be a hassle because you know it gets kind of bulky in some of your um, baggaging and stuff so um, Hoping the lighting's okay here. So I have I actually did a color on my lips today. Um, and what it is with these these like I said, these are your shaders, your trans whatever I can't think of what you want to call it for sure, but though here well what's nice also too is Melly always does put a nice little flappy door there. So that way nothing gets interfered with some of the um, products. So, um, the white here will make these shades all here more lighter. You can make them lighter. The middle size one is your pearlized. So, it can make these all pearl, like a pearlized uh, lip. And then the black is to make it darker, which that's what I used. I used this color here. Uh, is that cherry blossom? I believe so, yeah. This one's Cherry Blossom. Is that what I used? Listen to me forgetting. I think I used Cherry Blossom. Yeah. Okay, so Cherry Blossom, and then I used the dark color and got this real nice, like, reddish berry color on my lips. So, um, this palette here, it can be versatile in so many ways. It's just unreal. It's you, it, it's like the never-ending palette. You can come up with so many different shades. I mean, if you think about it, you can use these just as they are, which is fine because they do look gorgeous. I mean, I've done that already because, like I said, I've been playing around with it. Um, or you can take and make it lighter, like one of the shades lighter, like I did, like this one here. I did lighter. I used this, like I said, the Cherry Blossom. Or not... I didn't make it lighter, I made it darker. Um, but I used Cherry Blossom and then the dark color. Um, so the other versatile thing is you can make it darker or lighter, whichever, and then open up your little booklet thing here, which I do, like, I try to wipe in between what I'm using with one of my wipes and stuff, kind of. So I try not to get, because, um, oh, it does come with a lip pencil. How did I ever forget? It comes with a lip thingy too, like lip pencil. 
I almost forgot to say that. So I could take the pearlized um, coloring, like, which is right here in the middle. Where am I at here? Try to make sure I, and I could go ahead and put my brush into that and make it more of a pearlized lip. So, can you see on the bottom there? The different, like it's more matte the other way, but this way I can make it pearlized, which I love. So can you see that? So there you go, you make it pearlized. And um, like I said, you, it's so versatile because you could take any of those colors, make them lighter. Any of those colors, make it pearlized. Any color, any of those colors, make it darker. Use those colors just as they are. You can mix and match like I did. You can take uh, a color and then mix it with the lighter or darker. Um, and then uh, pearlize it. You could take two colors actually. Like I could take the cherry blossom and then, um, which I'll have to tell you the colors on here. That would help, wouldn't it? I could take the cherry blossom and a big apple maybe, let's say. I'm going to make a really dark, bambi, or whatever kind of color. So I could take cherry blossom and big apple and put them two together and make it either lighter or darker. And then put pearlized on or not, which I, I mean is like whatever you want to do. It's totally up to you, kind of a thing. So I'm hoping my lighting here is not too. We're gonna move me around here. So all right, let's start with the colors of what they are. Now I might butcher some of these because I'm not gonna be sure of how to pronounce them. So pardon me if I do. So let's start with. Um, modern Melon, which, whoops, my little door wants to flappy open there. Okay, so there's Modern Melon, right here my finger's at. Um, there's your or Orchid, so that will be nice because that is kind of the color of the year now. There's your Big Apple right here, this nice ready color. Okay, in the middle here we got Nudie. This one here is called Amber, Amber Jean, Amber Jean, or something like that. I might be butchering that, but I apologize. Um, this color here is Brick, which you can see is a very dark brick color. Okay, and then we go over here. Whoops, how about I do it here? Like, okay, then that color there we have is Buff. There's Cherry Blossom there, and then Vixen is Vixen. It is a very, I'll put it on my finger here, maybe you can see, very dark color. So, I wonder if I could put them up on my, I'll try here for you guys. We'll work with it. They're very pretty colors. So I'll show you these ones first on the bottom layer here. Okay, so this darker one here is Vixen. That's Vixen right there. Um, the middle one is Brick. The one in the middle there. There's Brick. Which looks prettier than what I had thought it was going to. Um, and then Big Apple is that my thing is falling. This beautiful cherry color. Okay, then we'll go. I'm gonna use be using lots of makeup wipes. Okay, I'm gonna go into the middle row. My kitty's sitting here with me, by the way. He's a joining me again. 
He said that was lots of fun joining me. Hi, honey. He's not going to say anything. Sometimes he'll talk to me, and then sometimes he's just in his own little world. You know how they are. Um, oops, I'm sorry. One day I will get good, better at that. I promise. <laughs> okay, these are the ones that are in the middle of the palette. So, okay. So we have... Uh, let me close that a minute. So we have or or yeah, organ that amgerine or however I can't pronounce it correctly, and then cherry blossom, which that's the one I have on. And then the top part, liking that melon really well. We'll take the top part. Ooh, that modern melon is very pretty. I like it. Perfect for the summer. Perfect, perfect for the summer. My hair's... I'm trying to get used to being a little bit shorter, and I wanted to quickly get this up because I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time now, and I have several other videos up, so I wanted to do those, too. So... All right, this will be the top row. So there's the modern melon. Isn't that pretty? I like that. That's going to be gorgeous for the... Sorry, my hands are horrible. There's nudie. Nudie color there. And then there's buff. So that's the top row. All righty. So, let's go ahead and play. I'll do a couple colors because obviously we could be here forever playing around trying to mess with colors. So, let's go ahead and play. So, I'm going to take this color off I have now. Let's thank heavens for makeup lights. I can hear the guys that are getting ready to watch Wrestlemania. I don't know if anybody gets into that stuff that watches my beauty videos. But, yeah, my guys are going to get ready to watch that. So, they're all excited, I guess. All right. I can hear them outside right now because um, they kind of go out there and chill a little bit sometimes. All right. Let's take... I'm taking... That modern melon. Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm. I'm going to take that. First, we're going to see what it looks like just by itself. You know me, I love me, my corals, and peachy colors. I just love them. It's funny because I never used to be. I was. And I still love my pinks and my purples. But that was like all I did. Which, I gotta be careful talking here. I'm gonna screw up. Now when you put the lipstick on, it's kind of satiny or matte. Depending on which one color it seems like you're using. This one seems a little more... Uh, satin, I think. But I'm trying to line the lips a little bit. Yeah, this one feels a little more... I think the cherry blossom must be a little bit more matte. Okay, so there's the modern melon. I'm not sure how well you can see it. Because my lighting stinks. Okay. So, how about we take Modern Melon, and then now I'm going to mix it with another color. 
So what color do you think we should use? Hmm. I can hear everybody now saying, try this, try that. Oops. Err. Try this, try that. Wish I could. I mean, I wish I could sit here for a long time and play with you guys. You know, like, show you all these colors. I'm going to actually take... No. Let's take nudie. Let's take the one that's right beside it. Just that nudie color. Let's take it and see what we come up with. So it's not doing too, too much of any, a little bit of a difference, I guess. But of course it's a lighter color too, so maybe I should have went a little darker. Looks a little bit more darker though. But uh, lots of kids playing, it's so gorgeous outside. Uh, there we go. Okay. So that's Modern Melon and Nudie. Now, what should we do with it? Let's go ahead and take that dark color. And then I will take a dark color and show you it lighten. Like, I'll actually lighten up Vixen for y'all because that is a pretty intense dark color. So let's take... Ugh this black which I wasn't sure I was like do you put it on do you put one of these shade shader colors on first then put the shade on or do you put the shade on and then it, it doesn't matter either way because like I had asked I actually emailed and I asked that question because I was like what do you do you know like for sure because I don't want to mess it up now of course you'll see the black a little bit there right now but when you apply it on the lips and work with it. Whoops, try to make sure that camera thingy don't uh so this looks like it's making a really nice nude color. Like a more deeper nude is what it ended up doing. So Yeah, that's what it did. Made it a more um, deeper noon. So by using Modern Melon and Nike, Nike, is that what it's called? And then that black, you got a nice darker nude. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay. Let's go ahead and, you know, like I said, I use a makeup wipe and try to get this stuff off because I just figure it's better that way. Because then you're not constantly mixing everything all up. So, alright, let's go ahead. That's pretty cool. Okay, so, uh, so if you want a darker nude, now you know, like, you can use the Nike or the nudie. <laughs> I say Nike. <laughs> Nudie, and say modern melon and nudie with the dark, modern modern melon and nudie with the dark, and that will get you a nice deeper nude. <laughs> Nikki, oh my my words sometimes. All right, I'm gonna take some Vixon, which Vixen is that color there, real dark dark color. Vixen right there. <coughs> so we're going to take Vixen. wonder if Vixen by itself is like Rebel. You know, the popular Rebel color that... Uh, I was kind of curious on that. Because I do like... I, I don't have very many lipsticks from MAC. But Rebel is one that goes so well with my complexion, so I I only get a couple more. I don't know why. I mean, like, really, some lipsticks can be more expensive than the MAC ones that I've bought. And I always say, it's too much, or it's more, or it's expensive. But really, all in all, 
I bought some that are even more than a Mac. So why do I even say that? I think it's just you get used to certain brands and you get an overload. Like, I know I get an overload of uh, on different scents. Mm -hmm. Some little girl outside. Okay, so this one's Vixen by itself right now. Vixen. Oh, it's probably kind of sloppy, I'm sorry, but I'm just trying to work with whatever here. So, there's Vixen. Now we're going to lighten up Vixen. We're going to put some white. We'll see what we get. And I will probably do... That'll probably, that'll probably be it. I'll just, that'll be it because I could sit here for hours and show you lots of them, but I'm just trying to give you an idea of all the, I mean, when you figure how many lipsticks you probably can get out of this one palette colors, it's just crazy insane, you know, crazy good though. Okay, I'm going into that white, which is right there, the top. I'm going into that white. And we're going to lighten up. Oh my. It turns into a nice pink. It's pretty. I never did this color yet, so. Mind you, it's my first time doing this color anyway. Pretty. I'm going to just get a little bit more. And dab it on there. And there's the color again. It's more of a pink. It lightened it up and made it more of a pink color. So there you go. Beautiful pink color. Mm. I love it. Like I said, there's just so many colors. You could have, look at my thing here. My cloth. You could just, it's never ending. Like I said, it's just like the never ending palette. Just so many versatile things that you can do with it and um, with all the colors and stuff. Hi! You gonna talk to me now? You too tired. He's too tired. He's like, nope. Still not gonna talk to you. So, uh looks like there was some hair to put fur on here. So that's the palette there. Gorgeous colors. There's nine shades, three of the um <laughs> he sees himself in the mirror. Three of the shaders that you can change the colors up to light, dark, and um, pearlized, and I really like it. So, this is like just a nice natural pink I have on right now, and that was the Vixen mixed with the um, light uh, coloring. So, ee, I love it. I love it. Now, I got this when it was on sale. She had like <clears throat> a special sale going on, like 30% off. I think it was, or 25% off certain items, and this happened to be one, <coughs> excuse me, and I really wished I would have gotten the um, eyeshadow one too, and I didn't, only because, like, all the eyeshadow colors, though, I feel like I really do have, but to be in the one compact, I thought, God, I could take this and that, and then I'm pretty much set. I mean, like, all I'd have to make sure of, yeah, is, like, my bronzer and foundation and stuff. But other than that, I mean, for eyeshadows and lips, I'd be set. You know, I'd have them all ready, set to go. This I'm definitely taking with me because, as you can see, it's so versatile. If you wanted to, um, you could, you know, take one lip gloss or two if you wanted to, to add that little bit more of a shine to it, you know, or something. Um, 
probably what I would do for my own self if I take, um, I probably just take one lip gloss, and the lip gloss I probably take um, because it would work with all of these is uh, Pearly Girl, and that's from Mally. It's in her um, High Shine uh, lipstick lip glosses, and Pearly Girl is is that. It's very nice pearlized um, iridescent, very beautiful color. So. Yeah, I thought that would be pretty great, and um, I thought I would go ahead and show this to you guys. It's been long overdue, but I have been playing around with it, trying to get a feel for it, and this get t it gets a 10 for me because I just like the whole versatileness of it all and the colors. I mean, like it's like you got nine colors in there, but then some. I mean, when you keep adding up all the different colorings that you can come up with, putting two colors together and lighten it up, put two colors together, leave it that way, put two colors together and darken it up, put two colors together, pearlize it, um, try them each individually, you know, just there's so many versatile ways that this palette could be used. It's just really crazy good, as I said. So, okay, beauties, I hope that was helpful. Um, this palette is... Um, oh, I'm sorry. You can get this palette on MallyBeauty.com um, for about, I think it's $50, which, I mean, that's really good when you think about all the shades and different stuff that you get. And I'm pretty sure on her site, if you spend 50 maybe, I'm not sure what it is right now. Uh, there's free shipping or something like that, too, on top of it all. Um, this might be on QVC also, so you can check QVC.com. But I don't think it's in Alter or any of them places yet. I'm sure it probably will work its way there, but I don't think it is quite yet. Uh, but you can look. It doesn't hurt to look. So, um, But yeah, love this palette. Give it a 10. I love my Mally. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you again next time. You all take care. Bye-bye.